As the bell rings out across the quad, students rushing, grabbing their packs, going to the lockers, and grabbing their books for their first class, bumping past each other. You can already see the wide array of people, tall, short, all manner of colors and all manner of personalities in that weird, tumultuous incubation period of figuring out who they're going to be as a person and all the conflict that entails. As we step into Mr. Kempler's homeroom classroom, students start washing in and finding their seats, beginning with Sasha, if you'd like to describe and introduce yourself and what we see. Sasha Murasaki is a first generation here in the town of Cinderbrush. She is perfectly perfect in every way. School president, captain of the debate team, very involved in all the school, school activities. She has long silver ombre hair. She usually wears something very conservative on the surface, nothing that would break the school code, but skirts are a little short, thigh highs are a little high. <laughs> Just something fun, if you're looking. As Sasha <laughs> finds her seat at the front of the class, you also see that she is flanked by three other figures. Corey Brooks, who is these, this incredibly statuesque model of a high school student who is well known for actually beginning her modeling career at the age of 15 in the nearby city of Vertuga, who has a very strong social media presence and is one of what students refer to as the Hive, the collective of three friends that are never seen far from following the footsteps of Sasha Murasaki. You also see Lexi Wembles, who is the salutatorian of the class and was the formal rival of Sasha's until through some strange moment last year, she instead became her best friend and has aided her in all of her endeavors. Besties. Mm -hmm. Trailing them is Jesse Zimmerman. He's known as the kind of bored playboy of the school, rich parents that constantly travel in and out of town to one of the other major cities in Arizona, he's left to his own devices with a fair amount of money and no oversight. They all find their seats as other students begin to rush in and find their places here amongst the whole room of Mr. <laughs> Kempler's class. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Behind there, we see a figure rush quickly to try not gather too much attention, lost in thought, Cameron. Uh, I am Cameron Solomon, uh, really fucking handsome, like just <laughs> super fucking hot. Uh, All-star quarterback, straight A student, at least used to be, um, come from the Solomon family, uh, which they sort of run the quarry a little bit outside of town. Um, was kind of, used to be the quintessential poster child for Cinderbrush, but um, something happened over the summer and he is not the boy that he once was. Um, his grades are kind of slipping a little bit. Um, he's kind of pulling back from the team and he used to date Sasha for two years, um, but they broke up recently. He's not star material anymore. <laughs> as you sit down, and you take a moment to kind of take in the students as they rush in, you can look across and see Sasha discussing amongst her hive some sort of heightened energy conversation, but hush enough where you can't catch it. You're not entirely sure, but you're pretty sure it probably has something to do with you and the recent breakup, and you sink a little deeper into your seat. I catch Cameron looking, and there's just a split second of direct eye contact where I cross and uncross my legs. <laughs> <laughs> and I go back to my conversation. All right. Towards the end of the final moments of the homeroom bell catching the beginning of class, we see a darker figure in clothing and presence enter Jamie. Uh, Jamie, Jamie Ren, uh, Renly enters. He's, uh, they've got, that's right, I'm attempting a they. They've got better shit to do than to be here. Uh, Jamie's from a divorced family. Uh, their mom works at the local police station. Uh, their dad lives in New York and they spend time there, which is why they have good shit and everybody else has shitty shit. Um, if you need something, 
they can definitely get it for you. Uh, and they don't really have friends, they have associates. <laughs> Jamie takes their place in the far, far, far back corner of the classroom. Not far after, the fourth of our group of characters enters, the newer student, having arrived here just last week with the first week of school, um, kind of to a couple of stares and some hushed whispers as they step into the room. You see Af, or Abigail Flowers. Uh, yeah, my name's Af. Uh, I'm brutally lost, but I'm not letting anybody know. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to, I walked into two of the wrong classrooms before this, but I'm pretty sure this is my actual classroom. And um, my name's not <laughs> fucking Abigail, okay? It's Af. Uh, those are my initials. Call me Af. And um, yeah, so far school's been kind of a nightmare, but maybe it'll be cool. <laughs> Hi. <coughs> <laughs> I run to my seat. <laughs> As Af runs over and sits down and finds your seat, you get down and kind of in a similar way to Cameron, slink down a bit. Yeah. Both recognizing Cameron with a quick glance, a recognition. Yeah, I know Cameron. I look over, give a quick smile over my shoulder. 